In this video, we're going to be talking about CDS and entity relationships, many-to-many -many relationships in Target. We're going to be looking at the new functions for Relate and Unrelate, and then we're going to be looking at some samples. Hi, my name is Abraham Saldana, and I have more than 10 years experience of Dynamics 365, CDS, and model-driven applications. Let's check this application. Okay, so we're in Power Apps now, and this is the application that we're going to be looking at. It's going to be the end to end relationship demo, and I already have that one open up here. And this is the application, um, you know, the, on the designer. But before getting into the demo, let me show you from the perspective of Dynamics 365 or CDS, how easy it is to actually do the relationship uh, from the many to many. Um, if I go to one of the records, <clears throat> And this is where I, we, we're going to be able to see the relationship. So I'm here on Office 365 suite uh, of sample. And, you know, this is actually the relationship. So I already created the relationship for the contacts. And these are all the contacts that are related to this product. So very simple to follow, very easy to, to, to see the data that, you know, that is related. If I want to go back, I go back and click in here in the title, and then we can see that. So now how, how did I create the relationship? If we go to the CDS, and here is in the data and we go to the entities now we're going to look for the product so there's two ways that we can actually look for the product we can scroll down okay or we can actually search here and type product and it's not showing me the product so we can click in here in this link so now that it's going to reset the filter and we're going to be able to see the product so i can start typing again product again and it's not showing me the product like here it is so now if i go to the relationships you will see that i already created the relationship in here and it's a product to contact and this is the name of the uh, the relationship and it's going to be a many to many you know very simple if you go to the add relationships and you define what type of relationship it is you know it's many to many now then you can actually follow up in here and says i want to do it with the contacts um, i went too far so the contact and then you know check the many other options and if you want to change the name uh, and then click in done and then save the entity and that's how you create the relationship very simple so now from the perspective of the application on power apps you know this is actually the application i have two galleries gallery one is my products and gallery two is actually um, the selected one but it's going to show the contacts only if we look at the data sources, I only have the two data sources available, okay? And pretty much I'm using the products data source and then the second data source for contacts, I'm using it right here. Let me close this one. I'm using it right here. Um, and this is gonna be where we actually use the contacts. And that's actually when we use uh, the, the contact and, and we're gonna create a brand new uh, relationship. Okay, so let me run the application. Uh, if I go here, automatically see that you know if i can actually remove one of these um, it's going to be removing jim from the list okay now i can go and select another person how about if we select thomas and then click on add it's going to add thomas to the list now so now we have thomas and pretty much you know these are the two functions you know this is the unrelate and this is the relate function so now let's look at the code so very simple, when we add the relationship, when we, add, when we wanna add the relationship, this is how we do the relationship. So when we relate, we're selecting the contact from the gallery, and then we're selecting the combo box. And that's how we relate. Um, the contact to the combo box uh, from the combo box. Um, the same thing in here when we uh, when we do the unrelate, we unrelate it from the contacts and then this item. So whatever item we're selecting, that's the one that we're going to be removing from the list. So very simple in that. You know, uh, on this one I also added a few other things. Um, I refresh the, the contacts and I refresh the products and then I reset the combo box so it actually cleans up everything and then refresh everything on the screen so now I can see the latest and greatest uh, updates. 
Okay, very simple in this one. Uh, you know, other ways to create the relationship. Uh, it should be, you know, creating a brand new record using the patch. Uh, but this one is actually a brand new function and, and it's very easy to manage, very easy to handle, and very easy to, um, uh, you know, um, update and change. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye. If you like the content, please subscribe and like the video. Also follow us on uh, my blog site, apesaldana.com forward slash blog. Uh, and then also uh, follow us on uh, Twitter, Abraham, and then also on YouTube. Thank you. Bye. In this video, we're going to be talking about, um, I don't know what we're going to be talking about. That's okay. In this video, we're going to be start talking about something.